Hello friends, welcome to our channel Mechanical Motivator. In this video, we are going to see how to draw a hypocycloid. The application of hypocycloid can be seen in many places. You can take an example of your, uh, in, uh, in a Tamil movie, Mumbai Express, Kamal will be driving a bike inside a well. So the well is the out, bigger diameter and the two-wheeler wheel will be the smaller diameter. Whichever places, when a small diameter circle rolls inside a bigger diameter circle, then we call it a call it as a hypocycloid and the curve is just an inverse of epicycloid. So it's nothing but a curve generated by a point P on the circumference of the circle rolling which rolls inside a directing circle. So bigger circle is called as a directing circle and smaller circle is called as a rolling circle. What happens is this circle will be ro rolling inside a bigger diameter circle. It will be generating the path. That's why it's called as a generating circle. When the circle rolls like this, it will be generating a path. This, the path is denoted by the dotted line, the red dot. So it will be generating a path like this when the smaller circle rolls over the bigger circle. And finally, uh, if we know the angle, for determining angle, we will be having a formula theta is equal to 360 into smaller diameter divided by greater diameter. So once we will be getting an angle suspended, so we can mark that angle here. And final image of the hypocycloid will be like this we can remove this this part this part is unnecessary and final image of the hypocycloid will be like this and this is the curve trace it's just an inverse or opposite of epicycloid in epicycloid we will be getting a curve above but in this we will be getting a just below so draw a hypocycloid of a rolling circle 40 mm diameter which rolls inside another circle 200 mm diameter for one revolution one revolution means 360 degree draw a tangent and normal to the curve at a distance of 80 mm from the center of the directing circle before starting the diagram we just need two data one will be smaller circle diameter 40 mm and bigger circle diameter 200 mm so first step is draw a straight line this is your reference line we can mark approximately keep your point here and mark it as o for drawing this line, actually we will be requiring diameter, right? So bigger circle, big circle diameter is 200 mm. So radius will be 100 mm. So distance from O to P is 100 mm. But for marking this, we need some angle, right? So you can just take this formula. So theta is equal to 360 into small d divided by greater d. Smaller diameter is 40, bigger diameter is 200. So once you calculate, you will be getting 72 degree. So this is a straight line, right? So 180 degree. So just subtract 72 from 180, you'll be getting 108 degree. So just make half of it. 108 divided by 2 means you'll be getting 54 degree. So once if you take, keep your protector here, from left hand side, you take 54 degree and draw your line to an approximate distance as well as from right hand side for 54 degree, you just draw a line approximately. You, uh, the in between angle will be, you will be getting 72 degree. That's what we want. After that, we can remove, just uh, don't mark any dimension in a diagram. For understanding purpose, I'm just saying. So distance between O and P will be 100 mm. So this is the bigger circle diameter. Just understand this concept. Uh, use this formula and uh, just do as I say. Now coming back. So initially, uh, you have drawn this line, right? So distance between O and P will be 100 mm. So this is the big circle radius. Then we have to draw small circle radius because it will be rolling inside the big circle radius. So from P to the green line will be denoting the small circle radius. That is nothing but 20 mm. After that, what you will be doing is keep, you will be drawing the reverse. You will be uh, drawing backwards 20 mm. From point P, you just take 20 mm. You just keep a point that will be the center of your smaller circle. Then take 20 mm, 20 mm radius in your compass, keep this as center and draw a circle. So you'll be getting like this. So this is your center and you'll be with your 20 mm, you'll be drawing a circle. After that, what you'll be doing is you just, these formula, I mean already I clearly explained uh, regarding the formula. So finally you will be, Already we have got that OQ line, that is OQ will also be 100 mm because OQ, OP is 100 mm big circle radius and OQ will also be the big circle radius and in suspended angle will be 72 degree as I said before. So once you subtract 54 and 54 means you'll be getting this. 
Now next step is just divide this circle into 12 equal parts. So in AP Cyclot, I clearly mentioned how to divide. You can use protractor and take 30 degree, 30 degrees. Uh, likewise, you divide the circle into 12 equal parts or also you can also use arc method. Just refer cycloid video. So how to divide 12 parts, it's clearly explained. After seeing that, you can have a clear understanding. Now divide the circle into 12 equal parts and name as it is. Uh, this point you can keep it as 12 as well as P. Okay, so in order to avoid confusion, this point holds good for 12 as well as P also. Likewise, you just name 1, 2, 3, 4, so on. The next step is keep your compass. The next step is keep your compass at point O, then just keep the other end of the compass at 6 and try to draw a line. So you will be getting a curve, smooth curve. All the diagram which I have done will be uh, dimensionless because I'm drawing approximately. When you draw with your instruments, you'll be getting exact diagram and dimensions also. So keep your compass at O and place the other end at 6. Try to cut an arc, you'll be getting a curve. Similar way, keep your compass at O, place your other end at 7. So 7, 5 till this end. So likewise, if you do means you'll be getting like this. So at center, thus, if you keep the compass at O and measure till center, you will be getting this green line. So center won't be coinciding with 9 and 3 because 9 and 3 coincide and it meets at the other end. So same way, uh, do the same procedure till 12. So 7 and 5 coincide, 8 and 4 coincide, 9 and 3 coincide and bring till this end point. 11 and 2 coincides. Yeah. 10 and 2 points, sorry, 10 and 2 points and 11 and 1 points and 12. Finally, you will be getting this uh, till the end point. After doing this, the next step is take your protector, keep your protector at O. So, O, P as base, O as center, try to divide this circle, sorry, divide this angle into 12 equal parts. So, 72 degree means you will be, once you divide 72 by 12 means you will be getting 6 degree, I think so. So like 6 degree, 6 degree, if you uh, divide means you will be getting like this. Once again I tell, uh, keep, your protector, uh, keep your protector base as OP. OP as your base and O as center. From here you start dividing 6, 12, 18 likewise. You divide into 12 equal parts. I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide this 72, 72 degree into 12 equal parts. No need to dimension anything. After completing it, we can dimension. So you will be have you will be getting some points here and try to extend that point till the bottom of the circle. So I am dividing this line. I am dividing this line into twelve equal parts with the help of the protractor. After that, what are you going to do? You just name it as one dash, two dash, three dash, so on. And the next step is from point O join from point O just. Use your scale and try to extend the line till the locus of center. So this is the center of the circle and this is the locus of center. What are you going to do? You just extend the line from one dash till the locus of the center. So keep your scale, uh, keep your uh, pencil here and try to use your scale and try to extend the line till the locus of center for all the uh, 12 parts. So try to extend it till the locus of center. The next step is name the once you will be getting at the center of the circle, locus of center, you will be getting some points, right? So name it as C1, C2, C3, so on. The next step is just no need to put this tableau column. It's just for your understanding. Keep in your mind. Take radius as 20 mm because diameter of this smaller circle is 40 mm. So radius is 20 mm. So take radius as 20 mm. Send, keep your compass at C1 and try to cut the arc at the line 1. Try to cut the arc at the line 1. Then keep your compass at C2. Try to cut an arc at the second line. Second line. Same way C3 and try to cut an arc at the third line. So you have to cut the arcs at the line 1, 2, 3 corresponding lines. So once you do means you will be getting like this. Uh, try to cut the arc very very small because we are going to generate the curve right. So no need to cut very big arc. Very very small arc you should cut. So keep your compass at C1. You have taken 20 mm radius. It's constant for all. Cut an arc at line 1. 11 and 1 will be connecting like, connecting right. So cut, that, cut an arc at that line. And 10 and 2 will be connecting. So keep your compass at C2 and try to cut an arc at the second line. Keep your compass at C3. Try to cut an arc at third line. Keep your compass at C4. Try to cut an arc at fourth line. Likewise, you keep on cutting till the C12. Okay, till C12, you keep on cutting. C12, you'll be getting here. 
final point so once you cut means you will be getting you will be getting an image like this after that try to join all the arcs if you join means you will be getting a smooth curve like this and this curve is called as a hypocycloid curve and this is the curve which will be traced by the rolling circle now next step is we are going to draw tangent and normal to the curve at a distance of 80 mm from the center of the directing circle so this is the center of the directing circle take uh, take 80 mm take 80 mm in your compass this 8 cm keep your compass at point o try to cut an arc anywhere on this curve preferably on the right hand side because we will be getting tangent and normal here you can also get here but it will be untidy and clumsy and it will make clumsy so try to cut the arc to the right portion of the curve okay so take 80 mm in your compass keep your compass at point o this is the direct center of the directing circle try to cut an arc so you will be getting a point m so once you cut the arc on the curve name that point as m now what you going to do is take 20 mm radius keep your compass at this arc this point o keep your compass at this point o and try to cut the arc on the locus of the center this is this green line is called the locus of the center keep your compass at point m and try to cut an arc at center of the center locus of center with 20 mm radius the next step is from the center of the directing circle try to join this arc which you cut on the locus of center till the top end of the circle so from o try to extend this line till the top end that is 12 point you told you got right a curve so try to extend till that and name that point as n name that point as n now join n m and try to extend it and this line is called as a normal n n dash is your normal so now you got a normal tangent is very easy now keep n n dash as your base m as center draw a 90 degree perpendicular line you can easily get a tangent so t t dash is your tangent once again i repeat n n dash as your center m as n n dash as your base m as center keep your protector on draw a 90 degree perpendicular line and try to extend on both side left and right to some extent and name it as t t dash now we have drawn the tangent and normal curve tangent normal should be very very dark it should be drawn in hp pencil the remaining things can be drawn in uh, h pencil regarding dimension we need to dimension the uh, diameter of the circle the diameter of the circle is 540 and angle extended we have to dimension like this and this is 80 is nothing but the tangent and normal distance on which we cut the arc right so 80 radius 80 will be denoting the point m so try to keep your compass here and try to dimension as it is outside the diagram don't disturb the diagram try to dimension outside the diagram this will be denoting the 100 mm of the bigger circle radius of the bigger circle dimension line should be h extension line should be 2h and both extension and dimension line should be very very light and extension line should be 1 mm away from the diagram so you will be drawing these things in a3 sheet height of the text this is the heading height of the text should be 10 mm these subheadings these are the subheadings it should be in 7 mm all dimensions are in mm and scale only stone should be 5 mm it should be lower most bottom corner of the page the the formula which i wrote here uh, can be written very small approximately you can take 7 mm okay you can put a box and you can do if you have any doubts in this hypocycloid you can type in the comment section and if you like this video means kindly share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my channel mechanical motivator thanks for watching this video have a great day